If we have two groups, and in each group I have four, so that's one group of four, and then here's my second group of four, we already know that we could write this as two, we could write this as two times two times four, which is the same thing, which is the same thing as four plus four. Notice I have two fours here. I have four plus another four, which is going to be equal to, well, if I have four plus four, or if I have two groups of four, either way, I'm going to have a total of eight things. And you see that right over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. What I want you to do is pause the video now and try to group these same eight things, but to group it in other ways so that you can represent eight as the product of whole numbers. Here I've represented eight as the product of two and four. Two times four is eight. See if you can represent eight as the product of other whole numbers or, in, or as whole numbers in different ways, grouping it in different ways. So I assume you've paused the video, so let's try it out ourselves. So one thing we could do, we could view this, instead of as two groups of four, we can view eight as four groups of two. So that's one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two. So we could write down, we could write that four times two, four times two is equal to eight. And we could view this as the same thing as literally four twos. We have one, two, three, four twos. Each of these have two in them. So we're going to say one, two, three, four twos. Two plus two plus two plus two is equal to eight. These are both equivalent. Four times two, literally four groups of two, that's the same thing as taking four twos and adding them together. Notice we have two twos right over here. We added them together, one, two. Here we have four twos, and we are adding them together. One, two, three, four. We take our four twos and we add them together. How else could we represent eight? Well, we literally could view it as eight groups of one. So let's do that. So eight groups of one would look like this. That's one group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could write this down as eight times one, eight times one is once again equal to eight. And if we wanted to write this down as repeated addition, well this is literally eight ones. So one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1 plus 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 1 is equal to 8. Now you might be a little stumped. Well, what's another way of getting to 8? Well, you could literally view it as one group of 8. One group of 8. So let me view it that way. So this is just one, one entire group of 8. The whole thing. The whole thing is a group of 8. So we could write this down as one, let me scroll over to the right a little bit, we could write this down as one times eight. And one times eight is equal to eight. And how would we view that? Well, we're not at, we only have one eight now. We don't have to add that one eight to anything else. So we could literally write this down if we wanted to, to do it the way we've done the last few. We could literally write it down. So it's just, we well, just have one eight. Well, one eight is clearly going to just be equal to eight. So now let me ask you another question. So far we've been focused on each of these groups. But what if we actually view this as four groups of eight? So what if we actually viewed it as, let me, let me clear this. What if we actually viewed this as four groups of eight? Then how many things are we actually going to have? So let me make this very clear. So we have one group of eight, two groups of eight, three groups of eight, and four, four groups of eight. So we would view this as four times four times eight. Or, which is going to be the same thing as eight, eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. Four eights. 
what is this going to be equal to? And I encourage you to pause the video and figure it out right now. Well, there's a couple of ways that you could have thought about this. You could have literally just counted these. Or you could say, well, let's see. 8, you could skip count by 8. 8, 16, 24, 32. Or you could have said 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 8 is 24, plus 8 is 32. Or you could have literally just counted the triangles here.